Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social This Side. And today we are going to see about the switch activity. So, what is the switch activity and where we can use that? So the switch activity provides the same functionality that switch statement provides in programming languages. Like if you have knowledge on the SQL server, then you can relate this with the switch function or the case statement. It evaluates a set of activities corresponding to the case that matches the condition evaluation. For example, we are having one blob storage and blob storage is having different set of files like few files which are related to the employee data, few files which are related to the payroll data, few files which is related to the item data. And we want to load these different set of files into SQL Server tables. So how we can load all these? So for that, either we can use the filter activity to do the filter for the employee payroll and item in different sets or we can use the switch statement by single switch statement can do the same functionality. What is the use case of the switch activity? So if condition can have only one condition that I told you in the if condition, if we are going to use then it will be going to check the condition whether that is true or false. We cannot specify more than one condition there. So it will be having only one condition. But switch can have more than one condition. So now go to on the browser and we'll try to understand the requirement and then we'll try to implement this in practical. So here we are having this blob storage and under this blob storage we are having employee data like employee India, employee US and employee TXT. So these three set of files which are related to the employee data next we can see the item so it is related to the item data then we are having these two as payroll data so we want to load these by using a single switch statement so how we can do that so before going to implement this if you haven't watched the get metadata activity and the for each activity so i would strongly recommend to watch these two videos because we are going to use these two activities here I'll provide the link of those videos in the description of this video. So go to on the Azure Data Factory and here let me try to add a new pipeline and let me call this pipeline as switch activity. Now here first we are required to use the get metadata activity. So it will be going to get all those files. So under the get metadata activity as we have already seen in the previous video in detail about the get metadata activity. So go to the setting directly and here we need to specify the data set. We have already created the data set. So we can use this data set. Let me show you the data set. Click on open. Here the link service we can edit. So this link service is indicating SSU testing account. So if we can go here. So this is the SSU testing. No. Here we can see the input folder. So under the input folder that we are, so we are having these files. So this is the data set. And if we are going to debug this, so here it cannot be empty. So what we need to do here, we need to add the field list. So we want to see the child item for these because the child item will be the files. Now let me try to debug it. Here we can see the output. So under the child items, we can see the employee.txt, employee India, employee US, then item, then pay India, pay US. So all these files are there. Now we can use the for each activity. So for each activity will be going to loop through with all these files. So let me connect with the get metadata and under the for each activity, go to the settings and here we can see the items. So under the item, what we need to do? We need to select this get metadata activity with the child items. So that's it. We can click on OK. So that will be the input of the for each activity. It will be going to loop through with all the files. Now go to under the activities and here we need to use the switch activity. So under the switch activity, we can directly go under the activities. First is the expression. So here under the expression, we are required to specify the expressions as we have already seen the output so those are like the complete file names but we want to split the file names as per their starting three characters if that is emp then that will be the employee file if that is the pay then that will be the payroll file 
and by default that will be the item file because we are having only these three set of files here so we have to use the substring function here and here we need to specify the starting so we are required to get it from for each item then we need to start with the zero and we want to get the three letters so this is we need to specify under the switch activity let me click on ok now here we need to add the case so in the first case if your expression value is emp then we want to execute uh, the copy data activity for the employee tables second if this is the pay then we want to execute for the payroll and the last one is the by default that will be the item so let me quickly go here on this pencil icon and here we can use the copy data activity so instead of loading the data i am going to use the wait activity here so it will be going to save the time because we have already discussed about the copy data activity multiple times so this will be the payroll so we can call this as payroll let me go back to here next will be the employee so we can add the weight one as employee and go back to the for each and here by default that will be the item now if we are going to execute this then what will be happening in this case three times we can see this employee india employee us and employee so these three times employee file will be processed one time item and two time payroll one let me try to debug and we'll see in the practical so now it's executing so get metadata executed successfully so this got filled let me check the error so error in the switch statement and it is saying the function substring expect the first parameter string okay so let me go here and in the switch statement go to the expression so under this we have not specified the name here because it is an object type and if we are going to specify the name then that will be one by one it will be processed now let me click on okay and try to debug it again so that has been started again so everything is completed so we can go here and let me start with the get metadata activity and we'll try to understand one by one so here we can see the child items so all these files are here now we can go in the for each so under the for each we can see total six items so the total six files is there now in the switch case if we can see here so it is for the item as we can see the three letters from there now if you can go the second one then that will be the payroll so two times for the payroll so emp three times so in, that is in the switch case now here in the wait activity we can see three times employee file has been processed one time item and two time payroll file has been processed so this is the same thing that it is doing so previously we have seen in the filter activity we have filtered the data directly without using the switch case so we had to use the three filter activities one for the employee second for the payroll and third for the item but after using the switch activity directly we can use the switch activity and we can add whatever the set of files there we can directly add the case one by one as we have added here like we have added two case we can add more cases if your set of files like those so this is all about the switch activity so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt then you can drop your questions in the comment box i'll try to respond there thank you so much again see you in the next video